All right, guys, this is going to be a follow-up video to the installation video that I did on Rapsugi Shima. So please go check that out uh, before you add the WeFlow plugins. So I'm going to be providing all the WeFlow plugins or the retro systems. I'm going to be leaving you all the links that you're going to need in the pinned comment of this video. One is going to be for my page. So just scroll down until you find the wallpaper of the video. Uh, there's going to be three links. One is going to be for the installation of Rapsugi Shima video. Um, the other is going to be the SD card files. And the other is going to be the WeFlow plugins. Uh, you're going to need to unzip both folders using 7-Zip or WinRAR. So copy all the contents of the first link to the root of your Visa SD card. And then add all the files from link 2 to the plugin section, WeFlow slash plugins. Now I'm going to show you what the folder is going to look like. So first on the left, this is going to be the SD card files. And on the right, this is going to be the plugins for WeFlow. So you're going to go to WeFlow folder, go down to the plugins folder. You're going to select all the plugins and just drag them over. This shouldn't take too long. Just give it a few seconds. There you go, you have all the retro system plugins. Now I'm going to show you uh, where to add the ROMs and the box art. So you're going to need to create a ROMs folder with all your retro systems. Now in today's example, I'm going to be doing Nintendo NES. So just scroll down until you find the Nintendo NES folder. Double click. There's going to be one game, Super Mario Bros. 3. This is going to be a zip folder. Now for the box covers, you're going to go down to WeFlow, box covers, you're going to find the Nintendo NES folder, it's going to have one cover, now this is going to be a .png file uh, with the dimensions 640 by 399, so make sure all of your box art is that size. So that's pretty much it on the computer side of things. Now we're going to get over on the Nintendo Wii. I'll show you guys how to install the plugins. So first we're going to load up WeFlow. Now the first time you load WeFlow, it might take a few more seconds to load. So just be patient. So if you follow my previous video, uh, you will be taken to this uh, section. So we're going to go over to the retro consoles. We're going to go over to Nintendo NES. So this one's already set up with the box cover and the game. If the box cover is not showing, uh, hit the home button, reload cache. For some reason is still not showing uh, make sure that the name is correct and the box size is, is correct now we're gonna go back we're gonna set up another one we're gonna go over to Super Nintendo it's gonna say no plugin selected so just press the home button select plugins you're gonna look for the Super Nintendo select it Go back. Now it's going to say no games found. So make sure you add the games to the right folder. And that's basically all you got to do for all the retro systems. So a pretty simple tutorial. 
I will leave all the links that you guys are going to need in the pinned comment of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And on to the next one.